Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and today I've got a bit of an updated custom uh, in more ways than one but we'll come back to that in a minute because this is an updated version of my Richard Herndl first Doctor from the Five Doctors. Overall the figure is generally the same, it is a first Doctor figure that I have um, given a repaint here and there and I've extended the coat with a bit of milliput to make it sort of slightly longer. On the waistcoat on the front, I have also repainted that more of a cream as to how it was in the episode. But it is, of course, the head sculpt that is a bit something new. So we're going to do a quick close-up on that now. Because this custom head sculpt you see here is one of Nathan David Ward over at NDW Designs. Fantastic 3D printed and designed Richard Herndl First Doctors. It is absolutely fantastic. It looks so, so spot on. I really, really love it. And it really does make this particular custom stand out a bit more and just make it look um, a bit better than the previous one. Obviously, the previous one was a, a custom one that I did myself. There are um, other uh, versions of that available, uh, versions of that available on my eBay still. But, you know, I have to give full credit where it's due. Nathan's is far, far superior to mine. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't know if the, at the time of releasing this video whether he's still got any for sale, but um, please go and check out his um, his Instagram and uh, his Etsy because you know he always has new fantastic bits coming up as well. Really, really well worth checking out. But that is not the only update to this figure because we in fact have something of a figure set now. Because, of course, it would not be the five Doctors in a Death Zone set without the Death Zone Dalek. So, overall, this is a bit of a hodgepodge of various parts and spares that I've had over the years. Uh, so, myself, what I've done is I have given the Dalek an overall repaint. Um, the slats around the midsection, I've cut out the sort of top part of it. Made the bottom half a bit silver, made the mid bit a bit, um, a bit slightly... Um, uh, darker so it's sort of more akin to how it appears on screen because the mesh was set a lot lower so there was a larger gap at the slats at the top and also as it comes around you can see on the right hand side a couple of the top bits of the slats are missing because this particular prop was made uh, from very damaged and disused parts and things like that. There are a few extra little things on this that I haven't decided to do. Some little sort of nicks. It's got uh, scratches and bits and nicks around the back of the dome. I decided to leave those off as they were. But it also has the uh, eye stalk, the dome lights, the manipulator arm and the gun. Uh, were designed by um, Robert Fusco, who is selling these parts on eBay as a little kit. It is absolutely fantastic. Great thing to do to make up this Dalek if you want to do, uh, you know, to, to make it yourselves. Wonderful to make. Unfortunately, um, in trying to put this in the custom box I've made, which we'll come back to in a minute, I did unfortunately clip uh, the end off the gun, which has the sort of little orange petals. Um, which, you know, the, the, the prop has. So unfortunately, I did damage the parts I got slightly, unfortunately, but that's, you know, that's my doing as a customizer. That's a bit of a, a shame, but the actual, um, the actual versions that are available do have the sort of splayed out petals. They look absolutely fantastic and look really good. But of course, once I'd done the Dalek as well, I knew, I think even before I'd done the Dalek actually, I knew that I wanted to do a custom set. So of course, we have some custom box art. Of course it wouldn't be a custom box without a custom backdrop so I have here made up of various sort of episode stills and I've just sort of mashed it together in Photoshop um, some uh, of the Death Zone corridors because obviously we have the first Doctor with a Death Zone Dalek it made sense for them to be in the Death Zone corridors. Not a huge amount to say about that because it is just a very very simple thing but I think it does look Really good, really pleased with the sort of outcome of that. But let's get on to having a look at how it all looks in the box. And here is the set in its custom box. So I decided to go with the 50th anniversary style of the box rather than the newer B&M ones simply because I had one of these spare. It had all the uh, proper inserts and things for it. And this originally started out life as a 5th Doctor and Dalek set. 
So the Dalek and the Doctor were roughly sort of the same sort of size. They fitted in well, and it was just easier than trying to, you know, mishmash and trying to fit one uh, in that wouldn't quite fit. Um, so overall, the box is more or less the same, but it's on the uh, some of the detailing bit we've changed slightly. So I've got here First Doctor, 1983, First Doctor with Dalek from the Five Doctors with Death Zone Dalek. If I bring it down from the top, you can see up here we've got includes the First Doctor and Dalek figure. First Doctor with Dalek from the Five Doctors. Unfortunately, I printed that one a little bit too small, but it looks good. Um, on then on this side, we have the First Doctor and Dalek action figure with a picture of the Death Zone Dalek prop. And then on this side round, we have a picture of includes the First Doctor and Dalek action figure and a picture of Richard Herndl. So we've got a nice representation of what is in the box. Um, I'm not going to turn around the back of the box because there's nothing on it other than the standard Fifth Doctor thing. I'm only ever going to display this from the front, so I didn't see the point in changing the back of the box. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how this looks. It's going to look absolutely fantastic alongside my... Um, I've got my custom regenerated War Doctor with the um, Special Weapons Dalek or the Temporal Weapons Dalek. And then I also have the 8th Doctor with the Dalek Alpha from Children of the Revolution, which is obviously an existing one. Um, so this is going to look great alongside those ones. Um, at this point as well, I did mention this yesterday in my review of the um, First Doctor and uh, Electronic TARDIS set with the David Bradley one, that it would be great if we did see a Richard Herndl. Um, First Doctor at some point. I still hope that we do one day, but I think it's highly unlikely to be on the cards. As I said, I think the tooling was lost or or went missing um, or got damaged or something like that, and it, and it doesn't look like we're ever going to see it re-released in future, but um, or released in future, I should say. But if we ever do, I think doing it like this as a um, as a, a Tardis a Tardis set a Dalek set. Um, with the Death Zone Dalek, even if it's not a, an, a highly accurate Death Zone Dalek, you know, if, uh, even if it just had the standard sort of, um, you know, eye stalk and the slats were just repainted, they weren't all damaged and things like that, and it had a bit of heavy weathering, I still think this would be one that people would just, would just clamber after. Um, but, you know, it's also worth saying as well that I think this would be a great CO exclusive set as well, because that could... Uh, also enable funding for new tooling and things like that so we could get it so I, I I think it's highly unlikely we will ever see it but I remain ever hopeful but that brings to a close another custom figure showcase as always I hope you all enjoyed this video like for subscribe share it really helps me out a lot I'm sure description below for a link to my patreon I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved there's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.